is that Meghan Markle is on the warpath once again, but this time who's crossed her? Hi, good morning, Neil, Sean here. Now today we're in a really place that you've probably never heard of, unless of course you know about the very heart of Yorkshire, Halifax in West Yorkshire. Halifax itself is known as a heavy woolen town. It's really, you know, famed for all that uh, particular time in history where there were lots of mills, dark satanic mills as they famously called them, and lots and lots of famous brands came out of this particular town. Also, as ever, it has a celebrity connection. For those old enough to remember, if I said the words, have a go, give them the money, Mabel, you know, the money's on the table, Mabel, you know what I'm talking about, of course. The brilliant BBC broadcaster, actor, raconteur, Wilfred Pickles, but not only him. Oh yes, they have the marvellous actor, Eric Portman too. He came from here, Halifax, and had phenomenal success throughout the 1940s, right through until the 70s, of course, starred in so many major movies. It is a wonderful town, if you get the opportunity, to come along and see it. As I say, it's uh, about, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes away from Leeds, possibly about the same from Bradford. But it's one of those secluded places that if you really want to take in all the beauty of Yorkshire, perhaps take on the Pennine Way, the Pennine Hills, this is the place to start. And as ever, it's just started raining. So back as ever also to your breaking roll story of the day. This really centers on the fact that once again, if you cross Mega Markle, as we found out, seemingly things can take a turn for the worst. This all centers upon really Megan's move over to California and her bid, of course, still to be relevant. As we know, they're still umming and ahhing about their return here to the United Kingdom for the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. First, they were gonna come, then they were unsure. Prince Harry's still not sure. It's all about security, you get the picture. And then this particular story emerged, one from our London Mayor Sadiq Khan, basically claiming that he'd been invited by Harry and Meghan to go to their Montecito mansion to have a chat with them uh, while he was busy promoting London, the United Kingdom, Wales and Scotland. I don't know what he's to do with those, but there you go. Interesting to note that apparently he couldn't find time in his busy schedule and somehow that managed to get into the media. That's right. So suddenly now there's an investigation by Meghan's team as to exactly who leaked that to the media. You see, Meghan and Harry were so sure that he would simply obviously want to come along, have that meeting, that wonderful photo opportunity, the video, that sort of stuff, which would have made them incredibly relevant in this Platinum Jubilee celebration period. Now, of course, when that came out that he couldn't manage it, he didn't have time. And as we told you previously on the show, he was way too busy not wishing to offend our gracious majesty, the Queen, as he too was invited to open or attend at least the opening of the Elizabeth line, the brand new line for TFL, Transport for London, which laughingly he's apparently in charge of as those strikes loom of the Platinum Jubilee weekend. You couldn't make this stuff up. So now, as I say, there's a full investigation from Meghan's team as to how that got into the public domain because this particular invitation was private, confidential, and apparently very, very well secure. Now, Meghan and Harry are concerned about exactly just how secure was it? Was it Sadiq that slipped up and told someone? Was it his team? Or in fact, who on earth decided it was public property? And we know how embarrassed, how annoyed, and of course, more importantly, how furious Meghan gets if she loses control of that all important media narrative. Neil Sean in the very heart of Halifax, West Yorkshire.